status. The next 40 years of your life can be amazing or they can be a rotten toilet of an existence. Or one leg stands. DRE advised he was, he also smelled gasoline on the defendant, which he knows can be used as an inhaler. DRE advised that the defendant could He's be also on probation for an arson. Two. He's on probation for an arson and he also had another arson on him and now you smell gasoline on him? What an idiot! Oh, what a loser! I think that you're an extreme danger to public safety, Mr. Cohn. I really, really do. You have a discharging with us, an assault, while on bond for both of those cases, you pick up an aggravated robbery, arson, burglary of a habitation, possession of a controlled substance, another arson, all those felonies. You get on probation for two, they dismiss everything else. Now you pick up a DWI, you take flight on the first time they gave you another PR bond. Who does that? Oh, you sir. got me bent if you think I'm going to give you a PR bond again with all the stuff that you got. You are an extreme danger Your to Honor. public safety. And now you smell like gasoline? Hell no. Hell no. He goes with you. Absolutely not. Hell no. Welcome back to Time Serve, the channel that scans the docket so you don't have to. And there are times that the Fleischer Dome drops the hammer, closes the door, throws away the key, and that's it. Then there are times that you know Judge Fleischer is trying to get through to them. These are, in my opinion, the best cases. So today we have just that. Judge has a young man that thinks hanging in the streets is the only way. But Judge shows him that there are other avenues to take and people who are willing to take him there. For more heartfelt Fleischer Domes, check this one out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Set your notifications to all. Let's roll, nerds. Up. Where's Mr. Felix? Come up, Mr. Felix. It's also Jason Lucas' hiring attorney for past. We, as Mr. Romero, and oh, hold on. Come up, Mr. Felix. Yes, sir. You picked up another felony? I just came to the real talk about it. I had to get all my glasses and everything. That's why you put me on the monitor. Did, have we addressed that he picked up the new felony? Sure sure well, no, no, he has already a lawyer in this case now with Connor, who's been representing him. So who do you work with? Mr. Rodriguez. Romero says it's good. Okay, are you are you signing on to this case? That's the idea, yes. Are you sure? Do you want to reach out to Carlos first? Yes, an idea is kind of in his hands rather than our hands. Well, I don't know. I would... The firm's aware of it. It's just Mr. Felix, whether he wants to go forward. I, I don't know. Do you, are you, you want to reach out to them to see, in fact, that you want to sign on? Because he's got three cases with us now. Yes. Or I, I, I see, no, just two. It's three. One's a deferred judge. It's running concurrent with the 262nd deferred as well. And they haven't filed an MEJ yet, but there's a note that it's about to happen. And I don't know if there's one in this order yet. Did you hear that? Did you hear what he just said? Any minute. They're about to issue a felony warrant because you're on probation in your felony case and you've picked up three cases since then. I didn't pick up three cases. I was on probation for it. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just telling you what the prosecutor said. That's all I'm saying, you know? So, I don't know. I'm okay with the public understanding for today. Okay. Take a seat for me in the jury box, Mr. Felix. You know where Connor is? I mean, he's still here, right? One hour later. 
Two hours later. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Only one. Okay. So that's why we have just Marissa Ayala. But I may have been mistaken. Uh, okay, perfect. No. Thank you, Your Honor. Of course. Did you get Jeffrey Dixon? The king? Okay, I just want uh, to Connor. Sure. Hi, bud. Okay. So, um, approaching on Keelan Felix, I apparently, uh, the, where are we with this case? Because I don't remember. So, we so we picked up, I mean, me and Havel were talking about a plea and we talked about trying to work it out because uh, he does have uh, a UCW and uh, the prohibited weapon. Hey, we didn't address the new case though, did we? Uh, he was in custody for a while. Yeah, I mean, we addressed uh, the UCW new case. We, I mean, he does have the felony uh, new case as well. But I, I was appointed last Saturday. I never revoked. I would have revoked his bond on the new gun case with us after he would have picked up the felony, and I never did that. That's what, like, come up. I think, Judge, for some, I think you did bring up the money, you said it in 3,001. Let me see. Let me make sure. Kilo. Kilo. Yeah. Kilo. Yeah, I did, yeah. because it looks like he posted a surety bond on 5924. So, Connor, the question is, what do we need to do to make sure that Mr. Felix doesn't have a gun in his possession? Because apparently... Three open cases is not enough, and a bond of nearly forty-two thousand dollars is not enough. So, what do we need to do to make sure you ain't got a gun in your hands? I'm talking about you doing right. You picked up a felony gun case on five two. But it wasn't even mine. Uh, Perception. I'm, I'm standing out of trouble. You just put me on this monitor. I'm being. I'm being watched. You just put me on the monitor two weeks. Is it uncomfortable? I mean, yes, but I ain't really Oh, I'm so really sorry, Mr. Better than being in jail, right? Okay. You're lucky you're not in custody right now as it stands. And I'm gonna tell you now, you ever pick up another case, you ever have a gun, I'm gonna make your bond so high, you're gonna split in quads. What's more is I'm telling you, I'm going to drug test you soon. If I find that you're using anything, you know what's going to happen. Sorry. Now, the question is, is like he's got with us, he's on probation for, he's on deferred for a gun, for discharging a firearm. And then he picked up the gun case with us in December. And now the gun case upstairs. I'm not going to hold it open forever yeah. for the new case to play out upstairs. You know, I'm, so I was, yeah, I was I'm tell prepared me how to move forward without it. The thing is, uh, I mean, it's, obviously, it's up to you on what we do with this probation. Uh, the uh, UCW is an under 21 case, and he was uh, four months away from being 21. Uh, but the uh, the probation, the and I talked about doing a, a time serve. Just uh, unaffirming his deferred, uh, and then and pleading under the new one. Uh, I, I, we didn't talk about the the, the UCW. The one. Uh, yes, sir. So let's do this. Let's set it off just a couple weeks. Have you gotten all the evidence in the new case? Yes. Sir. Yes. Have you gone over it with Mr. Felix? I can't. No, I haven't. I mean, so let's do that. I'm setting your case off for a couple weeks. I want you to meet with Connor to go through all the evidence, and then we're going to work something so that these done so that you can concentrate on what happens upstairs okay don't the worst thing you could possibly do is pick up even put even go near a gun don't now what are you doing for a living i'm down bad right now my little, uh my little somebody just hit my little brother in the room in my hold on are you truly working or are you just spitting out no, i work with my office. what does that mean i work with mom from time to time, you know, you okay, know, from right? time to time, so that nah, nah. what? Come on, give it to me straight, Mr. Nah, Felix. Uh, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no, it ain't, it's just a, it, like when he called, it ain't no everyday job. Then you must now get an everyday job. Yes, sir. I'm resetting your case for one week. I want you to see what you've done to get a new job. Go to Amazon, they hire everyone. Yes, sir. 
I, I did the, uh, the class and everything, though, that you told me about. It. I got you, Mr. Felix. The problem is, Mr. Felix, when you have too much time on your hands, you become self-destructive. That's what's going on. You don't do a darn thing in life. And the problem is, is that you end up, you get caught up in doing because you ain't got no job. J-O-B. That's the word of the day. Yes, sir. Are you able, are you unable to control yourself? Good. I'm glad. I want you to get a job. In one week, you will be back here to prove to me what you've done. And if you have nothing, uh, it's in my email. It's in, if you've done nothing, it's not going to go well for you. No buts. Get a job. Start looking. When you have too much time on your hands, you become self-destructive. Sometimes we have to save people from themselves because they're our own worst enemy. And that's what's happening. That's what's happening with you. You are your own worst enemy because you have too much time on your hands. The nice thing about working is not only does it keep your time occupied, but you get money too. And you get to buy nice things like cars, houses, jewelry. Get a job. You got a week to show me what you've done. You're not here going to the beach. So bring proof. That means paper, not palabras or words. Thanks. Uh, would you be okay with doing a... Um a time served on his uh, probation days and on sat terming his deferred. I, I don't know yet because I want to make sure that he's first a working man before we just start pleading and putting more stuff on his record, thereby making you unemployable. The more stuff you pick up, all you're doing is you're making yourself un. No one is going to give you a job when you keep racking up convictions. You don't get it. The next 40 years of your life can be amazing or they can be a rotten toilet of an existence, Mr. Felix. And what you doing now? Have you looked in the jail? Like two, 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 two. Take a look at how many old people in there. There's a reason. Because they ain't got no job. And all they do is they keep pleading guilty. Stop it. You got a week. Thanks, Connor. You can go. 